afternoon guys, Jim Sands down here at Caddisfly tying up a fly called the Crelex for the Oregon Fly Fishing Blog and for the Caddis' YouTube channel. Hope you guys enjoy it and let me know if you have any questions. Alright, so today we've got a 60 degree jig hook in a size 1 and we're going to use some 100D black gel spun thread from Vivas. Just put a little tiny base on it. You're going to want to kick it back to about the size of the dumbbell eye. This is a size large. You can use whatever color you want. Today it's black and green for me. If I can keep it from slipping out of my fingers. So we need to go back just a little bit more. Right there will be perfect. And when I do this, I do one, two, three, four, five on my side, so it's just like pinned there and I can kind of freely do whatever I want. And then I'll hook the other side, four, five, and just kind of work it so it's nice and straight on there. I don't worry about it straight being this way yet, I just want it straight like this way. Do a couple wraps underneath it, pull, lay that there, and then look down the barrel, make sure it's on the center of the hook. Take a little bit of your favorite super glue, put a little dab in there, a little dab on the underside, cap back on that so if you knock it over, just do as many wraps as you ideally want, but I feel like doing five on each side, doing a few rounds of bend, do another five, and then around the bends. That usually locks it in pretty good and then we're going to have some materials riding over this so it gets locked in pretty good and I'm going to have some UV in here and all kinds of stuff. So we're going to take this back to right where the, right before where the bend starts. Right there. And today we're going to be using Crelex. Makes sense, we're making a Crelex fly. I think it used to be called Krinic and then MFC picked it up and they just call it Crelex. This is essentially just a whole bunch of flash. You can use just like flashaboo flash for it. You want it to be really limp flashaboo flash, not super stiff though because it won't move as well in the water. Oh, yeah. And my gauge for the, how long I want it, you can do it this way and I'd say that's two body lengths. I use this little material clip right here and kind of just kick it just past it, between that and the head of my vise. Just put like five turns on it to get it stuck right there, lift this stuff up. It always likes to get hooked on the eyes or I don't wait long enough for the super glue to dry enough and it gets stuck in the super glue. But I got lucky this time. And I bring my thread back up to behind the eyes, I'll lay this down, it just open spiral wraps down lock that stuff in and then I do open spiral wraps back up bring my thread in front of the eyes do a couple turns just to hold that right there right now because I'm going to take some UV glue and do a little bit on the body right here just to keep this when a, tooth, a fish's tooth gets stuck in there it doesn't pop the thread and cause it all to unwind just hit it with the UV light for a few seconds. And that's done. Then we run, wind up just a little bit so we get a little bit of a thread base so you have something to grab onto on the front. So you can pin that down there. And then bring your thread behind the eyes. Do a few wraps. Measure this out to about halfway down your flash tail. And then bring your thread, turn, rotary vices are really nice for this because you can just turn it, otherwise you can take it out of the vise, flip the whole hook around. The fly will ride hook point up because of the dumbbell eyes. And I bring the thread just in front of where the flesh that I tied in ends. And take your dark color. As far as how much you grab for each, it's going to kind of be up to you. The top you're going to be doubling over, so don't grab as much of 
the top as you did on the bottom. You did double over the bottom too, but you cut it in half so it's not all the way back there. This one you're going to bring all the way back and then cut it off. And then just kind of tie it in like that. Grab this clump right here, pin it in, get a few thread wraps there, get the stuff out of the way that's on the bottom, grab all the top stuff, and you want it to be about as halfway, about halfway between where you cut this and the end of your tail. That's where you want this to end. So for me that's right about here. I just kind of get it all flowing down underneath the hook. And now just build a head. You can make this as pretty as you want. I like to just make sure it's tied in and it looks kind of neat. These flies are just for me. I don't have to worry about making them super pretty for someone else. Grab your whip finish tool. Bunch of twirlies around, cut it off. Now with this part, I like to take super glue, put that on the head, let it completely dry, then I'll take UV glue and flow and go around and make like a nice shiny head. But for demo purposes, I'm gonna just do the UV. Just so I make it look pretty and finished for you guys at the end. It'll still hold just fine like this. I just made it a habit to do in the super glue and then the UV. Zap it for a few seconds. If you want the paint on your eyes to last longer, taking a little bit of the UV and just placing some of that on there helps a lot with durability and lets that paint last a bit longer because the UV glue will have to chip off before the paint can start chipping off. And I did hit those little thread wraps right down in there too. I don't know if that was visible or not. And this is a great fly to fish on the coast. You can do it in smaller sizes like for trout and stuff. But this one is great for fishing out of a Doherty, and I literally just caught fish this week on them. So, tie some up. I hope they work well for you.